Hey guys, it's Anna DF from Canvas Homepage Building and Design Tutorials. And this is the last installment, part four of the iframe tutorial. This is the installation. If you've missed any of the videos or you're looking for how to start, you might want to click the annotations on this video or the links down below. If you have any comments or questions while we're going through this, please don't hesitate to write in the box. Or if you want us to look through your coding to make sure it looks all good and it's clear, Click on the link in the description, which has our email attached. So, here we are, we're going to start the installation. So we have our finished code, and if you don't have your finished code, you might want to stop this, go back, because this is strictly installation. Like, if you're a customer, <laughs> um, trying to see how you install these, you know, it's kind of a hybrid video right now. Um, but in this video, we are going to be installing the whole code, um, talking about the home page and how it interacts with the code, and previewing the code and seeing how it works. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your IMV homepage. I am using canvases, as you can see. Well, kind of. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use the Canvas account, and what you're going to do is you're going to take your code, your whole code, copy it, you're going to paste it. To get to this mode, I want you to go to, this is my URL panel, I believe. Oh, this is the video panel, just kidding. You can use URL, video, or sandbox, it doesn't matter. Um, just make sure you don't have any panels off to the right hand side. Make sure they're all uniform. So like if you want the badge above, or you want your stickers, or your visitors, or products, make sure they're in the center. Nothing on the right. I repeat, again, nothing on the right, or it will mess up the coding and your homepage will be thrown way off. So, click on the edit button, or you can go into edit mode, save mode rather, paste in your code, and you're going to click save, it's going to take a minute to load up, yeah, okay, so, good boy, sorry about that, um, let's see here, so everything is working except things are thrown really off a line. So that's an internal problem. This is why we have the code on the outside so we can just go ahead and measure it. Um, once you've done a lot of these you'll get used to it. Um, but uh, until then, um, kind of take a guesstimate about how much, like okay, this needs to come down as you can obviously tell. So you need to find the main box. It's on. I'm going to turn up the music a little just because I like it's on. Anyways, so you can see that this main box needs to come down. So if you want something to come down, you need to make the top number bigger. The top right now, let me make this bigger again. It's Here's, oh, here we go. The top right now is 61. So if you wanted to go down, I would say maybe make it 71 to see if that makes a much of a difference. But actually, it needs to go about 81 or 80. Same thing with the scroll. I think it needs to go down a little bit. Go down a little. And then try your code again. Save. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. There we go. I'm going to turn this down just for a second. Um, the avatar picture is not going to be in there. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but it may just be the fact that let me see. I need to turn down this.
I'm actually not quite sure what's going on with this. I might have not done it all the way over there, but regardless, you insert the code and it'll load up and there you go. If you want your links to work, sometimes they'll work with your editing, so like while you're still editing the panel. Um, otherwise, you might have to go up and click preview, um, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, um, let's see here. Um, the 30 pixel gap that we sometimes talk about in Dynamic DIV for the Chrome and Firefox, it doesn't really apply here. Um, iframe's a different ballgame. Um, it was about a 20 pixel gap, and it's still not aligned the way I should have it aligned, obviously. Um, but, having that said, um, yeah, basically, um, this is the part where you insert the code and you tweak it until it's just right. I'm going to keep tweaking this, and like I said before, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Please, we want it. We're here to help you, and it's totally for free. There's no cost. Just please email us and give us some fan mail at the very least. Thanks for watching, and I hope you understand the iframe tutorial now that it works. <laughs>